Good morning, I'm Sam Marlowe, a meteorologist with the National Weather Service here in Peachtree City, Georgia. This is your weekly weather briefing starting today, October 26, 2023, through next Wednesday, November 1st. Starting with the highlights for the next week, conditions will remain mostly dry through next Wednesday. Warm conditions this weekend will give way to much cooler temperatures with a passing cold front on Tuesday and Tuesday night, just in time for Halloween. Given the dry conditions, particularly across far northwest Georgia, drought conditions have progressed further as well. So let's take a look at the Climate Prediction Center's 6 to 10 day outlook. Conditions starting mid next week will see temperatures below normal for this time of the year. Sadly, we are also anticipating drier than normal conditions as well, meaning no help with the drought is currently in sight. And speaking of the drought, here's a look at the most recent drought monitor, which was just released this morning. Much of North Georgia is in at least a D0 to D1 drought, however, portions of far North Georgia and Northwest Georgia are in D2 severe and now D3 extreme drought. Make sure to keep in mind outdoor fire safety given these conditions and stay aware of fire conditions each day. With that out of the way, let's take a look at what is giving us our dry conditions. The biggest feature to note on the current surface analysis map from the Weather Prediction Center is the high pressure settled over the east and southeast United States. This is going to keep us dry through the next week as well as give us a warmer than normal weekend. The good news is that east winds should bring some Atlantic moisture to the area, which may help to slightly reduce the fire risk over the next few days. Shown on your screen is the GOES East satellite view from this morning. We did have some patchy fog and given the ample moisture coming out of the east with clear conditions over my, overnight, we may continue to see overnight patchy fog through Sunday. Peak times to expect this would be early morning hours to a couple hours past sunrise. However, once the sun comes up, things should clear out. Fog may become particularly dense in open fields as well as low-lying areas, and this could reduce visibility and become a driving hazard. So stay up to date and aware of any dense fog advisories that may be issued over the coming days. Here's a further look at the conditions expected today. Highs will be in the upper 70s to low 80s for much of Georgia, so beautiful conditions. No precipitation is expected for today, so enjoy the sunshine and beautiful weather while you can. As we move through the weekend, we will continue to track a cold front as it moves out of the Midwest. This system has some substantial cold air behind it, so we'll continue to monitor this for the timing of the earliest arrival, when you can expect to see uh, those temperatures start to drop off. Continuing to move through, we see that cold front begin to run into that high pressure that's over the southeast and begin to slow down. Uh, this is going to keep our uh, weekend a little bit warmer and dry for a little longer than what uh, we would typically see. Here we also see that that cold front really kind of stalls out through the Saturday and Sunday time frame, keeping that precipitation over the uh, central Mississippi Valley, Ohio River Valley, um, while we remain dry. Eventually, however, that cold front does win out and our high pressure system moves out of the area. Um, due to the drier air aloft, no precipitation is expected with this system and conditions should remain dry for the vast majority of Georgia. Um, a few isolated sprinkles may be possible in far north Georgia, particularly more in the mountains. However, any rainfall associated with this will be trace at best. Um, one other note for this slide, uh, while the surface map shown does show the cold front over Georgia, we'll probably not start to see significant cooling off until um, Tuesday and Tuesday night, maybe Monday night at the earliest, um, but uh, coldest temperatures will start coming in Tuesday and you'll really, rec or really uh, see that cold air Tuesday night. The last few slides, I'll just kind of go through the temperatures we can expect to see through the, through the area. Um, here are our highs through the weekend showing that initial warm up. Temperatures will be in the upper 70s and low 80s through Sunday, which is above normal for this time of the year. No records are anticipated, that, no broken records are anticipated at this time. However, some locations may get within a few degrees of them. And as we move into the uh, Monday through Wednesday time frame next week, we can see that sharp temperature gradient move across the states, um, bringing that uh, big cool off for us. So. Um, Monday, southeast Georgia may see temperatures in the mid 80s, while northwest Georgia highs may struggle into the upper 60s. 
Uh, by Tuesday, those highs across most of Georgia will be in the low 60s. Um, and then by Wednesday, those highs are going to struggle to reach even the mid 50s to low 60s across Georgia. The real story will be the lows overnight, Monday through Wednesday. Monday will see lows in the low 40s. However, by Tuesday, those lows will reach into the mid to low 30s across North Georgia. Wednesday night lows will be even lower with temperatures in the mid to upper 20s across North Georgia. And this will likely be the first hard freeze of the year for many spots, making for a fairly chilly Halloween night and trick-or-treating experience. Low-lying areas across North Georgia may be uh, particularly susceptible to those uh, to even colder temperatures uh, than shown on these maps. Well, that is the outlook for the week. Mostly clear conditions before the big cool off next week. As always, feel free to contact us on social media, email, or just give us a friendly call. I hope you all have a great day and stay warm for Halloween.